Warning, I, Dan Lanks, am going to completely blow your mind during this Minecraft video. So if you enjoy console Minecraft, hit that like button and subscribe for more block placing awesomeness. Yo, what's up guys, it's Dan Lanks, and I'm back again for another tutorial video for you guys today. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to build these boats right here. This is just kind of like a fishing boat design, uh, like a speedboat maybe, I guess. It kind of looks a little bit aerodynamic, so... Uh, I've got some requests to build these since you guys have seen them off the sh off the coast of the uh, Modern Mansion Let's Build right there. So I'm going to go ahead and build one of these for you guys, try to make it as quick as I can, and show you guys how I did it. So uh, first thing off the bat is we're going to go ahead and just take some blocks and then just ring them up above the uh, water. That way uh, like we actually have our base above the water. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and take blocks and you, you want to go ahead and count 15 back. So I have two right here. So you just want to go 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. And then you're going to want to go 7 over from that. So 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. Just like that. And then you want to just go ahead and bring it over back up to the back up to the middle like this. So now that we have this, we can go ahead and take it out right here three blocks from this last corner side. Just go ahead and come in one and then take it out three. So 1, 2, 3. Do the same thing on this side, one, two, three. Then you're going to go ahead and place a block on each edge. So now you have this like shape kind of like that. Then you just go ahead and take out two from here. So one, two, and then one, two. Then place a block in the middle. So now you have a shape like this. And then you go ahead and come out two from this. So one, two. So now you have the front of the boat all ready and good to go. Next thing you're going to want to do is you want to go ahead and take out some, I'm going to do spruce wood slabs, but it doesn't, or, spruce wood planks my bad doesn't really matter but you what, what you want to do is you want to count off eight from here so one two three four five six seven and eight and on the eighth block you go ahead and just bring across some slabs of um or sorry some uh, planks and just go ahead and fill in the entire thing with some oak wood or sorry what does it doesn't matter what planks you use but i'm just going to be using some spruce wood planks so then you can go ahead and get rid of this part right here because that's just obstruction and you can fill that in as well all the way up to the front of the boat like that so now you have this right here, and that's looking good. So now you want to go ahead and take out some spruce wood slabs. And just line them along the edge like this to kind of make like a stair. As like, like that's basically how you want to do it. Then all you have to do is just take some spruce wood planks again, and then just bring them up like this, and then you can break them underneath the water if you're building this on a, on a river, which you should be. Obviously, it's a boat. And uh, so just bring this all the way, fill it all in from here until you're at the end here then what you want to do is you want to go ahead and break the sides of the back of the boat like there and there then you're gonna go and break the two in the middle so now you have three blocks and there's only one space in between them like this then you're gonna go ahead and place the slabs or sorry not the slabs the uh, you know what I mean the uh, planks on the sides and put them underneath as well then you're gonna go ahead and take a ladder this is obviously not necessary but it's just for a touch to make it look better so that's good now you want that now we're gonna go ahead and out, get out some chests Go ahead and place one right there. That's kind of got like the bait in it and stuff like that. So from here, now you're going to want to go ahead and take out some gray wool. And then three blocks or three blocks away from the end of the boat. So one, two, three. You're going to go ahead and take it and just stack it up two. And then do the same thing on the other side like this. So it's two blocks away from the slab and two blocks away from this red wool. And that should be good. Then you want to go ahead and place a block on top. Place another block to the side of that and then break it like this. And then place another one like this place another one like this like this and break it so now you have this shape like that do the same thing on the other side so place and break and place another one place place and then break like that there we go next you're gonna want to go ahead and take out some snow so like this and then you just want to go ahead and line the snow over four blocks one away from the first line of the elevated stone or sorry um you know what I mean, spruce wood, spruce wood uh, planks. I, I don't know why I can't say that right, but so just come out, bring it across four like this: one, two, three, and four, and then take it across three on the top like that. So you have a nice little shape right there, and uh, you're gonna just do the same thing on the other side. So one, two, three, four, and then one, two, three like that. Next, you're gonna go ahead and take out some fences and some glass panes like this. Go ahead and place the fences on the edge here and here. And then you're going to go ahead and take the glass panes and then line them like this on the second block. So fence, glass pane, glass pane like that. Next, you're going to go ahead and take out your snow again. I'm sorry I put it away originally, but you're just going to go ahead and fill up this space in the middle. Just two blocks tall on each one, kind of like that, just so it's all filled in. Then you're going to go ahead and place some glass panes on that as well. 
next thing you want to do is connect them. So just place them on the edge here. That way they're connected like that. So that looks pretty good. Then you're going to go ahead and take out some st uh, stone slabs and just line them across the top like this. So one, two, sorry, one, two, and three. And then one, two, so, oops, I messed up there. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So now it's a uh, three by four. Then you're going to go ahead and line them across Place one on top of the fence, and then from the fence side, go ahead and place two like this. And then from the other side of the fence, you go ahead and place three. So one, two, and three. Do the same thing on the other side. So place one above the fence, and then one, two, three away from the fence on the right, and then one, two on the left. Next thing you want to do is just fill this space in right here. That way, it, in total, it's a now a five or a yeah a five by six um like I guess like stage of stone slabs. Next thing you want to do is above the fence block come one block in then place it on top so now you have a full block like that then just go ahead and place one on the left and one on the right like that uh, do the same thing on the other side like this so now you have uh, this kind of design right here then you go ahead and place one in the middle like that so now you have a kind of a u-shaped if you're looking at it from this angle now you just want to go ahead and just stack them up in the middle two more like this and then all the way to the end so now we have like this uh three blocks tall in the middle here and then just go ahead and take it out two more from the edge so to give it like that aerodynamic look so now you have that done then you can come over here and then just place one two three and then one like that so now you have the uh like the hood of the boat done i guess and uh, you can actually make a flag over here if you want this is totally optional but you know you can do this if you want go ahead and just make a flag like this doesn't matter what color you use i'll just use red because that's the one i used on the other one so you can just go like that and make a little flag on the top of the boat. Just kind of give it like that little flag. That's fine. You don't have to do that, but you can if you want. Next thing you want to do is get out some stone slabs. And then you want to come from the second block over. So where this slab is, you just want to come from above this. And just bring the stone slabs all the way across the end like this. And then you're going to want to come out two from the edge. So there's two blocks underneath them that are uh, not filled in. Then go ahead and place another one on top like that. So in total, you have... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine regular stone slabs, and then two full blocks of stone slabs right here. You want to do the same thing on the other side. So just count off nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then from here, just go ahead and go one, two, and then one, two, like that. Next thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and place two more stone slabs, stack them on top of each other for three more blocks, lining the edges. So there's two spots available right here. Do the same thing on the other side. Just go stack them up twice coming three blocks across like that next thing you want to do is uh, just make like a little void of a space right here so just place one then you can break it and then stack it on top place one break it stack it on top like that and then from here you can just stack up three like that so there you go so now you have the front of the boat almost complete next thing you want to do is take out some spruce wood slabs and just line the whole thing so you cover up all that red wool that's sticking out from the bottom of the boat Line the whole thing up to the edge over here. You can, I actually messed up right there. But line it all the way up to where the point where it's filling in the entire front of the boat. Like that. There we go. So now you have a nice big space here. Next thing you want to do is take out some light gray wool. It doesn't matter what color wool you use. Again, choose whatever you want. And you can go ahead and line it from the side right here. So basically what you want to do is just get rid of the uh, slabs that you placed. And you don't even, even if you... Uh, are still on that step you can just actually just not even place those slabs at all and just do that on the same side over here then you want to go ahead and break those three blocks like that so now you have kind of like a wrap around from the uh, front of the boat right here then you just want to simply break these three like this so one two three and then one and then one like that so now you have a nice little like uh, perimeter on the front and then the last thing you want to do is go ahead and you can actually this is optional as well but you can go ahead and break those two slabs and uh, take out some chests and just place some more uh, space here for some like open area storage like that. So that looks pretty good. And uh, we're just about done with the boat, guys. Uh, only thing we need to do now is just fill in the bottom and we're good. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, all you have to do is just get your red wool back out and just come underneath. And then just kind of line the whole thing where you placed the blocks before. So just kind of go in the middle, I guess, and just kind of... Uh, um, fill in the bottom of the bow so like basically there's going to be like a cross here so if you see like a two a corner like this you have to place it all the way up to the corner make sure you don't place it one further or, or it'll look weird make sure there's never a um a stagger of two blocks down at the same time that that makes it so it doesn't look good so we're just going to fill this whole thing in coming all the way down 
And uh, you guys probably can't see what I'm doing right under here, but the sh lamb is in the way. We're going to fill this all the way down to the end. And uh, I'm where? What am I stuck under right now? Oh my god, I'm lost. Ah. Okay, let me just come up and sleep real quick so you guys can see what I'm doing. Let me put down a bed. So that way you guys actually can see what I'm up to. So we're going to go ahead and sleep for the night. And then we'll continue. And we're almost done, guys. We probably have like a minute or two left. So coming back down under here. Try to make this as uh, least confusing as possible. But what you basically want to do is you want to keep lining the red wool down until you reach the, uh, the, the um, I guess, the wood. So just like connect it like that pretty much. And you can do the same thing on the other side. Just go from the wood all the way down. Just keep following all the way down until you reach the point where it's it's crossing right here. And then you stop. And then you go in from there and then connect it, which I've already done on this side. So we are pretty much set. All we have to do is just fill in the, the middle here. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Just fill it all in here. And we are about done. So just filling it in right now. I'm not really sure why there's a weird lighting defect here, but there is. So. And that's that. So there we go, guys. The, uh, the boat is done. Um, pretty, pretty cool design, I guess. Uh, you can add some chairs in the front if you want right here and here if you want for, like, fishing. And other things you can add that I added on this boat to make it a little bit more detailed. I added some item frames with some fishing poles on it. Some chairs right here. I added a little, uh, space for the captain and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, you guys can add all that, um, on your time. The only other thing that I want to do before this video ends is just quickly add a level of spruce wood slabs connect it like that and then just add another level of spruce wood planks that way you have plenty of space to sit when you're driving the boat so that's it guys hope you guys enjoyed this one um make sure you hit click like if you want more, more tutorials like this where i uh, show you guys how to make like vehicles and other things like that just some common things for a good creative world to have a lot of details so that's it guys um hope you guys enjoyed it um yeah hopefully this was a good unique boat just boat design for you guys and uh now i have three of these things now so this is actually pretty awesome so <laughs> that's it guys I'll, I'll let you go hope you guys enjoyed it and i will talk to you guys later peace out